everyone, my name is Underpageam, and today we are playing the Oblivion Tutorial! This is the second episode of a three-part series. I hope that you guys enjoy it. This is my favorite game of all time. If you like what you see, please give me a like and subscribe, and follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Underpageam. I hope that you guys enjoy. Please take care, sit back, relax, and we'll, uh, we'll catch you on the other side. Peace. <laughs> Easy, 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 easy. Now we are playing on like the standard, like the default difficulty. We haven't raised it at all. But from my understanding, the higher the difficulty, the more you level up. Poor guys. We'll try sneaking a little bit too. Although I'm pretty sure we are at the end of this, this portion of the <laughs> of the tutorial. <laughs> Look at poor Mike. He has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Bam, all right. <laughs> I thought they really did me in there. Oh, let's take some of these, some sting corn. All right, what is this, traps? No worries. Uh, oh, okay, there's a goblin up ahead that hasn't seen you yet. To go into sneak mode, press left control. Okay, we've already done that. Notice that the crosshair changes to an eye <laughs> while you're sneaking. If this eye is dim, no one can detect you. If the eye is bright, someone can detect you. Skill increased. Look at him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> look with flair. Oh, look. An unusual gym. <laughs> no. He says. Look at this guy. No idea that <laughs> Mike is behind him. I have to quick save again. I love this game. Okay, a little dead, dead rat here. No goblin that we can see. None yet. Let's pick this chest. Nice. Perfect. We'll take lockpick. We're not going to do anything with the arrows. I'm not going to kid myself and think that I'm going to be... I'm going to go into like some sort of archery build. <laughs> 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 oh, we've been discovered, but that's okay. We'll set this trap. Haha, -ha, fools. Oh, okay, whoa, he didn't die. <laughs> I'd like to imagine that I blocked his sword. Sorry, I blocked his arrow with my sword. Poor little guy. We'll take that lockpick, and we'll take... We'll take the lockpick as well. Rusty iron bow, yeah, like I said, I, I think we're gonna stick away from, from bows and arrows. Take those. Oh man, I'm so excited for you guys to see, like, to meet all of the interesting characters of Cyrid. <laughs> well, there are lots of, there are lots of really funny ones. Oh, lots of really interesting quests as well. Okay, let's see. So we've made it into this goblin dungeon lair. There we go. That's one person down. Nobody noticed. People have noticed. <laughs> uh, I love the sound effects for for the destruction skill. Look at him. This is a goblin shaman. <laughs> Put Aquaphor in your feet because uh, Callus. No. Oh, and can't stand up to walk. Oh no. Ah! Oh, that's the worst, right? <laughs> Ooh, and look at this. We'll take the goblin shaman staff. Take something. Oh. Ah! Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, take it easy, pal. Take it, listen. I didn't mean for this. I didn't mean for this. Leave Mike alone. <laughs> there he goes. Bonked. Okay, I think that's everything here. We'll quick save one more time, and then we'll keep putting, we'll keep pushing forward. Eventually, we are going to get back in touch with the Emperor and the Blades. All right, we're back. It's so funny because, like... find a defensible spot to protect the Emperor until help arrives. Help, what did you think help Oh, I missed every opportunity I had. I'm gonna get some. <laughs> Damn it, it's that prisoner again. Hey, Kill hey. Him. He might be working with the assassins. I'm not, my name is Mike. No, he is not one of them. <laughs> he can help us. He must help us. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? 
Listen, you know the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. The Nine guide and protect us. I'm, I'm not on good terms with the gods. Uh, I don't know. I don't think about it. Yeah, we'll just, we'll, Mike is just sort of drifting. He, he doesn't know. Doesn't I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. Hmm. Okay, so as you know from if you're fam if you're familiar with Skyrim, you know that there are different um, like stones or pillars that you can go and activate, and they'll give you certain attributes, and they're correlated to stars. And this is that system in Oblivion. So you just get to select your birth sign. It's like, oh, I'm a Capricorn. The lady is pretty good. There are lots of really good ones. So I want to do like like a a one-handed. I want to do like a monk build. So I want to fight with my fists, but also use magic and so far i've been using i've been using swords and actually i should switch to unarmed and just do my fists fists and magic so that's what we're gonna do i think we should do the thief the thief because we're, we're using light armor um grants grants bonus to agility speed and luck attributes um and we could do the warrior, which would give us a 10 point bonus, which would, it would even our character out because right now our our endurance and our strength are relatively low. So maybe the warrior would actually be like a, a good one to, to balance out our character. Although having some of these extra sort of like special powers like the shadow, use moon shadow power once a day to become invisible for 60 seconds. That's pretty darn good. <laughs> what do you guys think? These are our cho these are our choices. If you see one that you like, type it in the chat and I'll, I'll go over it. And we'll read it and see what it looks like. But I'm thinking either the warrior or um, or the shadow, which might be cool to have. I know it's just a one-off spell you, you just use once, but might be cool to have. Might be cool to have. So I'll let you guys think. And actually, in the meantime, I'm going to go and get my second cup of joe. And then when I get back, we'll do some stretches. We'll do a little bit of exercising. And then we will continue on with the introduction to this quest, which is so, so good. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to go get some coffee, but I will be right back. We're going to put this on, uh, on full cam here. <laughs> and I'll be back in just a little bit. I'm going to keep my mic on, but when we get back, we'll do some stretches and relaxing, and then we'll dive back into Morrowind, or Oblivion. What's the tower? Oh, okay, wait, one second. I didn't even notice. The tower, uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. With the, with the tower key power, once a day, open a door or container of average lock level or less. The tower warden reflects five points of damage for 120 seconds once a day. The tower is basically the, uh, oh, you can't, <laughs> there it is. The tower power. Once a day, opens a door or container of average locker level or less. The tower warden reflects five points of damage for 120 seconds once a day. It is probably the worst star sign that you could possibly give yourself. Are you kidding me? You could for once a day, you could unlock an average lock. Also, you're gonna take five points of damage whenever you do it. Um, so uh and enjoy it enjoy that shitty little <laughs> little ability the tower sucks the tower sucks um okay let's see i vote tower okay that's one vote tower and you can't change the star sign once you have it it's 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 there it's no changing it's not like it's not like in, in skyrim so this is permanent once we select it that's it all right hold on let's see let me create i can create a little poll for you guys new poll um which, oh, my caps lock is on. Which star sign should I choose? Question mark, the tower, the warrior. Okay, so we've got one vote tower, one vote warrior, because I would like the warrior. And then, okay, we'll just do the tower or the warrior. We'll, we'll leave it at that. We'll, we'll cast a vote. Um, allow additional votes? No. Cups of Joe per vote? It's going to cost 50 cups of Joe per vote. Uh, and we're going to make this last just a minute, a minute long. No, two minutes. That'll give us some time. And then in those two minutes, I'm going to go and get a cup of coffee, and then we will be right back. Okay, which star sign star sign should I choose? <laughs> okay. 
Classic horror maybe. <laughs> oh, good morning, little Mooney. Welcome in. Welcome in. We are trying to decide 13 votes for the ta- Okay. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Welcome in, little booty. Okay, I didn't. Th I, I chose that you couldn't do multiple votes. What do you mean? <laughs> Why? How in the world? I didn't realize that you could just vote indefinitely. What is this? Oh my gosh. You, you lobbied for the tower. You literally put all of your money toward putting in the tower. Because who else would put... Oh my gosh. Well... <laughs> Okay, I think all's well, all's fair in, um, nothing is fair in politics. Alright, so we're going to select the tower. I think that you guys can still hear this, which is good. We'll hit done. You want to be born? No, I don't want to be born under the, t under the side of the tower, but I'm going to have to be born under the side of the tower, because that's what you guys voted for. I say you guys, that's what one guy voted for. Okay, are you sure you want to be born under the tower? No, but, uh, yes. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give me a like and subscribe. If you'd like to catch this live, check me out at twitch.tv forward slash underpaid jam or tune in next Sunday for the third installment of this video. I hope that you guys take care, stay safe, and uh, we'll catch you on the other side. Peace.